Josephine from WeConnect and this is Dr. Roland Essam from Giesecke and Devriant. Hi. Hi. Thanks for your time. May I ask you to introduce yourself first, please? My name is Roland Essam. I'm Chief Data Architect of Giesecke and Devriant. Giesecke and Devriant is since 160 years old. Giesecke and Devriant is in our life. Um, there are different sectors in banknote, in mobile security and e-government. How do you define big data? So, um, theoretically, big data has no exact definition. Big data could be um, defined using three Vs and now four Vs. What are these Vs? Volume, velocity, variety. So for banknote, a banknote data has about more than a thousand properties. So you could label this as high dimensional data, volume and variety. If you look at the banknotes, banknotes are being produced for, at the printing, uh, printing works. Then they will be moved to central banks, from central banks to commercial banks, from commercial banks to cash centers or to all the retail stores. So in all of these locations, footprints of data is being collected. This data could be analyzed to dictate new patterns that could be helpful for and beneficial to the society. You graduated in the field of predictive analytics. Um, what was your motivation to do that? So basically, I am very interested in finding pattern and coloration within data. I am quite interested not just on predictive analytics, but on machine learning, mm -hmm. whereby you could train models and to try to find vivid patterns. So my main motivation was to like, how could we dictate trend in data? And um, more specifically, how could it be used beneficially to mankind? For example, you have things like um, in healthcare, there are a lot of diseases related to the brain where it could be detected using predictive analytics. At Agisica Endeavor, you are researching in the field of um, artificial intelligence in the banking sector. Yes. What, is the, um, what are the use cases for that? So, um, specifically, I won't go into the details. As some, of, um, some of the projects are um, assecurative projects. So we will talk about them when it's public, but some of them we already have some results is to analyze banknote, the life cycle of banknotes, or to predict um, how, how many banknotes will be shredded. So it will be, it will be helpful for the central bankers to plan mm -hmm. how many banknotes is needed in circulation. And other projects is about research using deep neural networks mm -hmm. to see if we can find to solve all problems using machine learning and data mining. Data security is one of the main issues and challenges in the field of big data. I guess it's the same in your industry, isn't it? Yes. So Giesecke and Devrian has a huge focus on data security. So they actually have a unit called mobile security, mm -hmm. which is very, very important for, for the company. So um, personally, I, part of my um, PhD, I did a lot of data security, data protection, mm -hmm. and I think it's a very um, important te topic so that people find a trade-off between data privacy and data mining. Now let's come to the presentation you just told about the Serutrack project. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. So Serutrack, in few words, is home to a lot of machine learning and artificial and, um, algorithm platform. On one side of the platform, we perform data ingestion, automatic data in ingestion. At the middle side, we perform data self-service because there are reports that there are not enough data scientists. So we want to try to de democratize data. So we provide an AI-based solution in which people, non-domain experts, you don't need to be a data scientist, but through drag and drop, you could perform complex um, queries and complex operation and then it also has a visualization engine where you might not need a third-party visualization but um, it has a visualization engine where you could view the results so in effect we are providing a self-complete data analytics platform that's why uh, what I presented today and I received a very warm reception and um, very very interesting questions you are also talking about the evolution of the bank node. Let's assume that we will still have cash in the future. We don't know. We will. Um, <laughs> yes. um, do you think that big data is uh, protecting us more of um, money counterfeits and fraud? Yeah. So I think um, cash 
um, counterfeits when you compare cyber attacks from visa cards and electronic payment this is what people have to be concerned about, mm -hmm. not banknote. Big data is actually on the banknote is actually helping us as to how to prevent, um, prepare for banknotes. If you have things like hurricane, the first thing people run onto is to find their banknotes. Mm -hmm. So I think cash has a very important role to play, and this is why we are trying to make analytic solution whereby, if there is hurricane coming or an earthquake, how could we better? Um, predict where cash would be required so that it could be deployed in such communities. Um, so I think um, the question about cash and cashless there should be seen in a positive point of view and I think cash is beneficial. How do you like the conference so far? What was your favorite part? So what is very exciting in the conference, the favorite side is not just networking but idea exchange. You meet a lot of people, different people with different expertise, people skills. So I think it's a very, very nice conference. I would advise anybody who is trying to run a big data project to run this, to come to this conference, to hear how where people made it and where it failed. So for me, I kind of see like some places of common interest whereby you learn a lot from other people and you can also listen and get new use cases. So I will definitely recommend it. And I hope to see you next year again and yes. I wish you two more successful days. Yes, thank Thanks you a lot very for your much. Time. Yes. Bye bye. Thanks.